Baruch Ata Adino Yeleheinu Melech Ha'elam Shecheyonu Vikiyamanu Vihigiyonu Lezman Hazeh Amen. Blessed are you, Amen. Lord, our God, who has given life, sustained us, and brought us to this occasion. L'chaim. 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 Totally not fair. Yeah, what about that? <laughs> L'chaim and welcome. Thank you for joining us today in this momentous occasion in a half a right year. A year of gathering for the Jewish people as we celebrate the grand opening of the Chabad Center for Jewish Learning. I would like to welcome the many friends who came from near and far with special mention to the matriarch of our family, Mrs. Duchman, along with the many guests that came from all over, including the country of New York, the state of New Jersey, <laughs> LA, yes. Yes. and even Israel. With the opening of this center here today, we take part in the unbelievable growth of Chabad centers around the world, internationally, which is a testament and fruition of the Lubavitcher Rebbe's vision. And therefore, we would like to begin today's festivities by calling up my esteemed father-in-law, Rabbi Duchman, to open the ceremony with the reading that the Rebbe sent to a Chabad center at its grand opening. I'll ask you all to rise, and I'll read it very, very quick, and then I'll give a very, and then I'll give a brief translation. you may be seated. <coughs> this is a uh, letter that the Rebbe wrote to uh, Rosie's great uncle when they opened the Chabad house in Paris in 1873. And basically, it's addressed to all those that are assembled at this uh, grand gathering of the dedication of the new Chabad house. And the Rebbe says that a house resembles yeah. protection and a place oh, of comfort. One. And therefore, to get a house or to acquire a house comes with great effort and, is with, uh, and needs great, a major blessing from Hashem. And therefore, the acquiring of a house or the building of a house is a major celebration. May this home be a place of comfort for all Chabad activities, which are based on the three loves, the love of God, the love of Torah, and the love of all Jews, especially for the youth and for the young. And may this home protect from all outside influences, and may all those who participated, may Almighty God bless all those who participated in this great celebration. I just want to, this is what the, uh, basically from the Rebbe, I just want to add a, just uh, give, permit me just for a, a few, uh, one, one minute. I just, I echo what my son-in-law said, I thank the Almighty God for having merited, together with my wife and my kids, to see this amazing day, the beautiful and truly grand door home that our children have created for Almighty God and for this beautiful Jewish community of, of Chattanooga. And I'm especially privileged to be here tonight. My mother, Blessed, who uh, Shaw mentioned before, Rosie's grandmother, who's here with us to celebrate this amazing milestone. And I have a very special gift for you, Ma, because today Aww. is your 65th wedding anniversary. Yep. I can't think of a nicer <laughs> gift than to witness this great moment. You lived through the Holocaust, 
Thank God you stand here today with all of us and declare, Am Yisrael Chai. Jewish people are stronger and greater than ever before. And we have the strongest presence ever in history. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, may you go to the strongest strength. Mazel Tov, Amen. Mazel Tov. Thank you, baby. Thank you. On behalf of the community and the Jewish Federation, I would like to ask Mr. Michael Dezik really to nice. share a few words. Hey, Rabbi. You know, Rabbi, this is the first time anybody in the Jewish community has actually rolled out a red carpet for me. <laughs> We're not going to let the clouds dampen this beautiful day. Mazal Tov on a beautiful home. I've learned, I think Chabad now has been in Chattanooga six or seven years. Is that right? Seven years. Seven years, I should know, because uh, your oldest son was, I think, six weeks old when you first moved to Chattanooga. And I've learned a couple things about Chabad. Number one, they care so much about making sure there's an Orthodox presence in Chattanooga. And number two, they care so much about education not just for our adults, but for our children. And look around, there's so many kids here. Mm -hmm. And I welcome all of you here. I'm looking forward to seeing inside the, the new Chabad house. Mazal Tov and welcome to the neighborhood here in Chattanooga. From the very beginning of Chabad's presence in Chattanooga, there was a family whose friendship and partnership has supported and guided us throughout our ups and our ups. Baruch Hashem, <laughs> thank God. Baruch so Hashem. we're privileged to have Mr. and Mrs. Joe and Nancy Preble here with us. And I would like to honor Mrs. Preble with reading the letter from the governor. Hello, I'm Nancy Preble. It is wonderful to be here today to celebrate the grand opening of Chattanooga's Chabad Synagogue. Synagogue dedications were first publicized in 17th century Amsterdam, when such ceremonies included congregants, rabbis, clergy colleagues, as well as civic leaders. Synagogues always have always been important in the life of a Jewish community and lie at the very heart of the Jewish experience. I am grateful to Rabbi Pearlstein and Rosie for bringing vibrancy and a new expression of synagogue life to Chattanooga. They have asked me to read the governor's letter commemorating the new synagogue. Dear friends, on behalf of the great state of Tennessee, it is my pleasure to congratulate and welcome participants and guests to Chabad's Chattanooga's grand opening celebration. For the past seven years, you have touched the lives of thousands of Tennesseans in the Chattanooga metropolitan area by providing social services and family education, as well as enhancing the experience of Jewish life. I am certain that the beautiful new facility and its Center for Jewish Learning is a welcome addition to the great work Chabad is already doing, and I send my personal best wishes for the continued growth and success. As governor, I would like to take this opportunity to recognize Rabbi and Rosie Perlstein for their tireless work in establishing and directing Chabad of Chattanooga, as well as the many supporters who have been a part of the success. Again, congratulations on this tremendous milestone. Chrissy and I thank you for your support of our state and hope that you have an exciting and enriching event. Warmest regards, Bill Haslam. Thank you very much. It is a great honor to have with us someone who has been a staunch supporter in Israel in the U.S. Congress and a very dear friend. Congressman Fleischman, I've got to come clean. There are some times I call you just to hear you say, Rabbi! <laughs> it makes my day. So I would like to ask the congressman to share a few words in honor of this occasion. Rabbi, thank you. Uh, you have been a godsend to this community, you and Rosie. Uh, my lovely wife, Brenda, is with me here today. Thank you. My doctor friend in the second row says, he says, is that your girlfriend? I said, yeah, for 30 years. <laughs> so we're celebrating our 30 years married. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, the Jewish community 
in Chattanooga has had a long and strong history. A history of philanthropy, a history of success, a history of civic duty and giving back to the community. And yes, a history of love, Mayor Burke, for the greatest mid-sized city in America. As you know, I am privileged, so privileged, to serve you all in the United States House of Representatives. And as you further know, I lived all over the country. I grew up with children of Holocaust survivors. I heard the stories. I saw the tattoos. And I saw the impact that that had. And I wanted to parlay the rabbi's comments and thoughts. As long as I have a voice and a vote in the United States House of Representatives, and I do and I will, I will strongly continue to support Israel. We must, we must support Israel. Now, as I brag on Chattanooga to my friends and anyone who will listen to me as they come <laughs> to see me, Rabbi, it is so important that we are doing what we're doing today, having a beautiful temple here in downtown Chattanooga. Why? Because as we reach out, as I do to my friends in APAC all over the country, and say, send your brightest and best students to Chattanooga, now we will have a religious and cultural center right here so that they can be at home and grow and prosper and learn. Very important. So in closing, um, this is a historic day. This will be a day, like many other days in Chattanooga, that we made history, but as we look forward to a great future right here in this temple, think of all the great things that we will do right here. Rabbi, I wish you the greatest success and God's blessing on all that you do here. Thank you Amen. and God bless you. The growth of Jewish life here in Chattanooga is palpable. One might say we've even been making waves at the political level with our very own mayor, Mayor <laughs> Andy Burke. I think it may be time to rename this area here as the Chattanooga Shtetl. <laughs> I'm sure the neighbors won't mind. But please join me in welcoming our esteemed mayor, the city of Chattanooga, Mayor Andy Burke. to uh, our friends from uh, New York, New Jersey, Los Angeles, Israel, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> of course Chattanooga has a Jewish mayor, right? <laughs> Y'all knew it before you ever got here. Uh, no, we, we are so happy to have all you here, especially our, our visitors, and please stay till the next Shabbos and spend all your money and then you can go home uh, <laughs> next week for, for Shabbos. Um, for, let me just make, mention two things, Rabbi, because I think this is important. Number one is I know everybody's talked about the the Jewish part of what we have here, but let's look behind us at this incredible facility that we have. This is one of our most historic neighborhoods in the city. And whenever we see a big investment like Chabad is made in the middle of our community, restoring one of the most beautiful houses that you can find anywhere in the southeast. That's a, that's a cause for celebration by itself. So you look behind us and we're really happy that, that Chabad is here, but also to have this beautiful location on an important block in our community and see something happening here. Kids running around, people celebrating, events occurring. That's an important part for the community. The second thing I would just say is that uh, as a member of the conservative synagogue, um, B'nai Zion, um, Joe and I were talking before I got up here, I barely remember uh, when it was on Oak Street. Um, and going there, of course we now have the, we have the uh, Mizpah Temple for the reform movement just over here. Um, and thinking about the tradition that we have in our community, Jews so, on uh, Battery Place and all around this particular area. I know Rabbi said uh, there was this shtetl um, moment that we could proclaim, but in fact, Jews have a long history in our downtown and particularly around this area. And so we should celebrate this, and it's really nice to see that moving back here. 
in our community, we want people to be able to live the life of their choosing, and that includes for, yeah. worshiping the, the way that they choose. Go, Many people in our community choose to be Orthodox, to be Chabad, to be Lubavitchers, and we are happy that we now have a beautiful place for them to come. So, Mazel Tov, Rabbi, we are so happy for you and Rosie, and we know that uh, Chabad is going to thrive right here in the middle of our downtown. Yes, it's raining. I don't think <laughs> My it was hair. his turn to speak. <laughs> In order to make this historic event possible, there were many that had to step up to the plate. And although I would love to, we just can't honor each and every one of you today because it's getting wet. <laughs> so there are, though, just a few that I would like to honor. And first and foremost, the one who's truly behind everything that happens at Chabad. The one who truly carries this institution, pushing it forward, and that's my wonderful wife, Rosie. Rosie. And I'm going to ask her to come and join me up here as we call upon another individual who has become a parent to Chabad of Chattanooga. See, I didn't realize coming from yeshiva that you needed more than just a screwdriver and a hammer to renovate buildings, let alone a historic building such as this one. And although I received a lot of warnings from Mr. J. Goldstein, <laughs> I still went ahead, and he did whatever needed to get done, volunteering hours, hours each day, planning, overseeing the construction and we're blessed to have met this wonderful family. And I would like to call him up. Knowledge and with all manners of crap. Presented to Mr. J. Goldstein. Genuine friend of Chabad Chattanooga, one who is defined no. oh, by compassion and exemplary commitment to family, friends, and community, <clears throat> a true role model for us all, and a grand opening celebration, September 18, 2016, Chabad of Chattanooga. Mazel <laughs> <laughs> So you're not going to be able to reach it. But you, can you please stop? Please. So the rabbi asked me to prepare a few words. If you hold it, it's not, it's to not going to um, cover my head. I thought I'd tell you a little history of how this project began. The rabbi came to me and said, would you like to go look at a building? Being in real estate, I said, yes. So I come over, he shows me this building. I said, rabbi, it's a really old building. It's going to require a lot of work and a lot of money. And I said, you've got a building, it's paid for. Why do you want to incur this huge expense in this small community? But the rabbi had a vision. I didn't really see the vision. And honestly, I didn't really think he'd come up with the money for We're the building. Home. Stop. Next thing I know, he calls me up and says, I have the building under contract. We need to move forward. So we find an architect, the architect draws up some drawings, we find a, a builder to give us some idea of how much it's going to cost. The builder comes back with a figure of about $2 million in renovation costs. And I said, Rabbi, it's a lot of money. You own a building. It's paid for. <laughs> but the rabbi had a vision. And I really didn't think he'd come up with the money. <laughs> well, somehow he came up with well, the money to close up. No building. problem. Go ahead. And I thought, well... It's going to take some time to come up with the money to do the renovation. I had volunteered to help to sit on a board. What I thought would be is it covering you meeting, guys? meeting with the architect, okay, help raising, doing fundraising, and eventually you want to stand under the umbrella? Come on. Raised, 
meeting with the architects, meeting with the contractors, not requiring a lot of my time. Well, that never seemed Happy. to have materialized. What happened was, Judah, the rabbi raised a little bit of money. He came to me and he said, I've got this much money. Can we get started? Okay. I said, what do you mean, me, we? <laughs> he said, okay, you. <laughs> I said, wait a second. He said, just the sanctuary. He said, I'd like to get the sanctuary done for the high holidays last year. He said, if we can get it, if we can hold services at the high holidays, have the community will see the new building, they'll get excited, we'll be able to raise enough money to do the rest of the building. Okay. So I agreed that I would buy painters and plasterers and people who did tile work and get the job done. Just the sanctuary. Well, the rabbi has a way of getting you to do just a little bit more. <laughs> so as the sanctuary began to come together, he would come to me and say, you know what? The hallway needs to be done, the entryway, and then the bathrooms needed to be done. And then, oh no, could you just paint the the, the main building, well, so that just doing the sanctuary turned into doing the entire first floor of the building. And as so, now that the building is complete, I, fi I find myself sitting in the building and seeing it, this beautiful building uh, that's full of life. I come here once a week with my daughter for Hebrew school, and I see it full of people that are staying and using the building, whereas the old building, it was people would drop their kids off or even school, they come back and pick them up. Now people stay. So it's a building full of life. The rabbi had a vision that this, this would be really just a, a Jewish home. A, a Jewish place of learning. Say thank you. <laughs> so, um, His vision, what he really had the vision that I didn't have. So, so with the building being complete, the one thing that, be like. that is left is that we have the entire second floor of the building. To you want your hair to do it? <laughs> we have a mikvah that still needs to be built. The basement still needs to be renovated. We need, we see, the rabbi still needs a place to live. The poor guy, him and his family are homeless. <laughs> no joke, he really has a place to live, but it's far away. They would really like to renovate the second floor of the building to be able to live in the, in the facility. So, I know the rabbi isn't going to say this, but we need to raise more money. So I'm hoping that you all will dig into your pockets and give generously. You want to come up and say that again? <laughs> All right. Well, we'll try to conclude here. From the first day that we Hold on, sorry. moved to Chattanooga, it has always been our vision to create a Jewish home for all ages and all walks of life. 
And today we realize that vision, Baruch Hashem, thank God, from that very first day, the warmth and welcome reception that we received from the community in Chattanooga saw us outgrow our first location in just a few short years. Together with you, we are proud to be standing here today at the opening of the new Chabad House for Jewish life, a warm and welcoming environment, a place for everyone to experience the Judaism in an inclusive and vibrant way. As you walk the halls today, please notice the signs and stations throughout the building where you guarantee to find a program or class or event at the center with which you will undoubtedly connect. Please take a look at the opportunities available to partner with us in the great work. There are pledge cards available. And without further ado, we will affix the mezuzah. Well, I guess we're not using the red carpet, huh? <laughs> I would like to welcome everyone so to come to inside as we finish. We will fix the mezuzah from the inside and we will conclude that way. You're all welcome to come on inside. If you don't have an umbrella, just take a dash for it. There's a Okay, go inside, go inside, go inside. Go, 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 go. I do want to say that the Baal Shem Tov, the founder of the citizen, has said that water is a sign of blessings. Yep, it sure is. That means it's cleansing. <laughs> yep. yep, it's cleansing. That's good because Hashem is blessing it. <laughs> Out here, so you can cut. Hi. All right, Jay, Joe, if you can come up here, we'll cut the ribbon together. Mayor Burke, Fleischman, Nancy. Hey, got you on. Here, grab a scissor. There we go. Where's the camera? Could you get the picture of yeah. the camera? Yeah. Are you going to this side or are you going to go right side? Oh, you want to get it through? Yeah. Alright. Here, here's, you need a... Okay. Mayor? Mayor? Alright, let's, let's, let's. Come forward. Yeah. Right. Where's, where's the... Joe, Joe, Jay, get in here. Jay, Jay, Jay. Where's Nancy? 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 And Rosie, Rosie, grab a scissor. The camera's right there, so... Rosie, your father. Jay! Jay! And there's another camera. Jay! One. One. Two, three, slice. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. Hey, hey, Israel. I guess we. Congratulations, mazel tov. Kevin is gonna put up the mezuzah. Oh, look at you! You look perfect. Mazel tov, mazel tov. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm gonna set up the sign beneath the lamp. It's working. 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 Kevin, this isn't working, but we're going to ask you to put up the mezuzah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
The grand opening of our Chabad. <laughs> Did you get the door open yet? <laughs> Maybe it needs a little bit of a push. I want, I want, um, Thank you.